It's a good one to the barber, otherwise we'd look like absolute cavemen for this video. <laughs> He's pretending like he doesn't always look like a caveman. <laughs> Hey you, my name is Ilya, and this is my brother Bogdan, and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog! Except for the week before last week, which was a week that I skipped after all these weeks of weekly vlogs. We had a long adventure here and in Montenegro, so we're just gonna kind of recount it, watch some of the clips that we recorded there, and hopefully give you a good time, right? Right. You're so involved. Yeah! We're gonna give them a good time! <laughs> is, that, is that what you wanted? The first day came over, we just decided to stay in Sarajevo and like rest up because we we're gonna have it. We were planning like lots of days walking through nature and mountains and things. So the first day was just chilling. We went for like a bike ride and then we went on the cable car that we have there to the top of the mountain. Bogey was ziplining, the place I was ziplining. Q overlay footage here <laughs> it looks so much more epic from yeah, down here than it was from the top i think yeah I I, she kept on telling me to break and i didn't need to break i see i really slowed down at the end and i kind of like and we went to the bo old bobsled path cue bobsled path picks here but it was like monkey hang on one hand doing cool shit which i can't do because i have a hundred something kilos now we're going back to have some lunch it looked like a monkey trying to climb that it was such a fail i thought it was I was gonna succeed the first try, it took me like what, four tries? Hey, you got up, that's the main It's point. so much harder than it looks. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna run up a wall and grab on the top. There's really not much to grab onto. Well, that's pretty much what you did. You just needed a realistic height. Dude, you should have thrown up the beer. That would have been such an epic video. If just yeah, if you dropped it and exploded under us. Yeah. The day started off like your average travel day. Just take your shit and go to the nearest bus station. Here we go. Starting on our journey. Yeah. We look so tired, it's obvious yeah, like we it just woke up. <laughs> it's like we woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> We're about to get on our bus. Yeah. <laughs> it was so anticlimactic. We had our backpacks, we were excited to go, and then we got in the trolley, and it's just like, meh. Yeah. He looks really bored on the way there, but we were actually super excited, like staring out of the windows yeah. and looking at nature and stuff. I was we're like, we're so in. excited, and then on the videos, we're like, well, there's a lot to take in. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, a mountain, oh my god, a tree. It's like, ah, oh, oh, that's cool. The creepy part about traveling there was when we were coming out on that tiny bridge. And you look at it, it looks oh like a god. needle across two mountains. Yeah, like, there's no way this it's bus really is really picturesque, but then when the bus goes on it, you're like, holy! Uh, our hike started off from this dam. It's like a river that flooded into a lake, and it's really picturesque and stuff. But, like, it's in a canyon. It's super steep. And yeah, I wasn't used to the background, so I was like huffing and puffing behind him because he's like in shape and I'm not. By the way, we got some wild straws. Your big strawberries. That's not big, man. That's a big strawberry. <laughs> That's a big strawberry. That's like yeah. a Chernobyl strawberry. <laughs> Strawberries are like this big. This is a, you know, mint. That wasn't mint. That wasn't mint. Just that little hike was worth it. Although we thought we'd go up faster. I had yeah. to make breaks every once in a while, so it took us a while. And when you get to the top, that's insane. Like you you climb these huge hills and then all of a sudden you're on planes. But the planes are like what 1,000 or more meters above sea level. So it's completely different than like your usual feel that you see. Beautiful, beautiful views. Pics on Instagram yeah. coming up. I really like seeing Locked the stone. Down. The blue was shown the blue one, the like indigo one. But the only problem is it was dry, there was no water. Because it's so high up, the water drains down to the canyons and it's really hard to find water, which is only a shitty thing when you're a mountaineer. Even the small villages, yeah, who the said villagers, they didn't really have their own sources of water, they collected rainwater, so all of their roofs had these little contraptions, or should I say buckets. If only what we were walking through was nice looking and not this ugly. <laughs> like it stopped on me. We decided to go rogue because following the marked path is boring. Hopefully we won't get blown up or eaten by bears, mauled by bulls. Stopping for lunch right now. That lunch was so refreshing. It took us a while longer than I expected. I mean, these huge backpacks make a ginormous difference. It's like your body is four times heavier or like you're climbing a slope that's four times steeper. I don't know. Enjoying your lunch, bro? No, my favorite. We <laughs> did camp, which is the good part because we were planning to camp for days in a row and get to this lake and everything that we saw in pictures. And we camped the first night in some forest. We didn't find a source of water still during the entire first day. And we're just sitting around the fire and it was a really chill evening. And he got these cool ponchos. Bogey and I are sitting in ponchos around the fire. Bogey brought us some awesome ponchos. Check out my poncho. Mm. Cause I'm the eagle, man. 
So in the morning, we just had coffee and we went on our way. I was making coffee in the morning. My accent was spot coffee on. Coffee in the morning. And the thing is, the day before, the, the main event of that day was that I sprained my ankle. So I couldn't walk for much longer. Nice. So we had to hitchhike to our next destination where we sat around having beer with a beautiful, oh, obviously, view of the mountains. Oh, that's the that first That was the most day. refreshing beer of like... Yeah, because we were like suffering for a day and a half. And then just come and sit down. Oh, for a whole day of hiking. And everything. He injured his leg. And then that beer was just like, ugh. And then when we finally got on the train to the coast, it was just chill. We had a yeah. cabin to ourselves. We were just see, looking out of the window, singing, watching the sunset. That was a really cool feeling. It was like mm -hmm. breezy and cool and sunset. It was perfect. And, and it was like in the evening too, after another full day of traveling. And then we got to the coast, which kind of ends the adventure. But the coast was fun as well. We stayed, the place we were at was really cool and they had like a bunch of kittens and all these turtles. Like 13, they had like 15 turtles? Yeah, 15 turtles in their, in their courtyard. And they were like always a, crawling around and you like have to watch too. where you step yeah. so that you don't like smash them, especially the baby ones who are like soft and squishy yeah. almost still. It, it's kind of a smaller town we were staying at, it's not so big, but the main beach they had was still crowded. Like whenever you go there, there's tons of people yeah. there. And it was fun, but we decided not to stay. I mean, we did spend time swimming there. We would like be chasing fish, looking for <laughs> all the junk that's left at the bottom of the sea. Mr. K-pop here is going diving. And I'm turning into Mr. K-pop. He made fun of my K-pop glasses, and honestly, he wore them half the time that I did. I did not wear them. You did. I like Whenever I wasn't wearing I them, you were wearing them. Go, Val. Show the world what you learned. on the seabed. Ready for the mission, bro? If you will accept it. Tracking anchors to boats and floaty things and stuff. But then we decided to go to this further away beach which was just wilder. It did have like cafe and things, but there was much less people and it was just more interesting. They had these big stones that we could dive off of and like dive around, look at the sea life underneath, chill in the in the stones. This better be a vlog worthy shot. Well, it ended up in a vlog, so... <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Maybe. <laughs> he was, you were gonna jump oh. into the, like, sea urchin yeah. infested well, there water. there was no easy way to get into the water. Yeah, it takes balls. So I was like... It takes... Spears. Uh, urchin. <laughs> Come on, it's not a 20 meter cliff. It's just full of sea urchins, nothing scary. <laughs> Almost hit the sea urchins. You have to just look really excited and say it with a girl voice. K-pop! Yeah, that's the way to do it. K-pop! And even though fires are technically illegal, we made sure it was really safe in this crevice and sang around the fire, fried sausages, the cool stuff you do at, at the coast. How's it going, broski? You good? Enjoying yourself? Very much so. It's kind of nice. That and you're not we didn't make to. the fires on the beach. We made them like slightly right outside of the beach so technically we were good and we did them on the rocks we didn't do it like nearby a bunch of trees so we did we did go to a near, nearby touristy town bar we were looking for what a book yeah and an exchange office because the town we were in didn't have an exchange office or so that was a fun experience ish not particularly a cool town but it was just nice getting around seeing something other than the place you're staying at for what seven days with it yes. here's broski doing the most cliche pose ever i didn't want to break the heart. instagram oh yeah you totally didn't want to break the heart but it's kind of a nice outing it's more touristy based but also port Town. You can see all the boats there, so the water is pretty dirty. People don't really like come here to swim, but it is really beautiful and touristy. You got this amazing walking path and like restaurants everywhere. And they have bookstores. And they have bookstores. Okay, attempt number two. They're like people staring at us. Yeah, like, should and we cars should pulling up too. And I feel the wheels are falling off. Like in a bubble, the best thing I got the ball, they got the ball. <laughs> I should have dumped you to the trash. <laughs> Funny. 
And it's really funny, a car pulls up, the guy starts yelling at us, he's like, don't dump it there. We're like, hey man, we found it across the street, we're doing society of favor. And then the police pulls up. And then the cop pulls up behind it, and it looks like he's hung at us. He's not. We're upstanding citizens. We're good. Oh, that's the night we were trying to capture the glowing plankton. Yeah, but my camera wasn't enough. It was so cool, every time you move your hand in the water... It's like sparks would Yeah, it looks away. like you're making sparks. It's like if you like snap, snap your hands under the water, it would look like, so like cool. small little like, explosions. But it couldn't really film it. That, that was the small recap of our adventure. When we were back here, we went to the to the fort at the end of town where you can see the beautiful view of Sarajevo. And for the time being, that's it. So we backed up here. It was nice. Definitely catching our breath. But boy, oh boy, this is this is the fortress. Tabia, that only means white fortress, and uh, you can see the whole town from here. Oh, shit. That was a very different vlog. It was like a storytelling slash B-roll vlog. Never done one of these, but it was fun making it, and it's awesome to have my brother guesting on it with me. Anytime awesome he comes, here. we should do a collab vlog. That's true, that'd be cool. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week. I just was a fist bump me. Oh. Yeah. Mm, there we go. <laughs>